This week on AV Rider, we're giving you a look at why Florida and specifically Jacksonville is poised to become an autonomous EV shadow leader in the U.S. German autonomous EV shuttle manufacturer Olan expects to begin construction soon on a $100 million manufacturing plant in Jacksonville, Florida. Olan's CEO says his company will start off making 5,000 autonomous EVs a year in Jacksonville, scaling up to a maximum of 12,000 EVs a year in two shifts. It offers maximum safety and comfort to up to 15 passengers close to 40 miles per hour top speed to integrate smoothly into urban traffic. Jacksonville has been positioning itself to become a national leader in autonomous vehicles with what it calls the ultimate urban circulator. The city and its transit agency secured federal funding and raised its gas tax to start building out an autonomous EV shuttle system in the urban core called the Ultimate Urban Circulator, or U2C for short. That made Jacksonville an attractive location for the plant due to potential synergies. Jacksonville Transportation Authority CEO Nat Ford has been championing autonomous public transit EVs. Together, as I mentioned earlier, blueprint for the rest of the country, so all of the hotels and the airlines need to get ready because folks will be traveling to this facility, they'll be traveling to the whole on plant, they'll be traveling to Bay Street. Two EV autonomous shuttles made by different manufacturers are already up and running in pilot programs with safety drivers in the city's Riverside area and downtown campus of Florida State Community College at Jacksonville. The first primary phase will launch in June of 2025 with modified Ford Transit EV vans that will be equipped with aftermarket Level 4 autonomous gear. The hope is to then expand the fleet with Olan EV shuttles once the manufacturing plant comes online and eventually replace the city's monorail system with autonomous EV shuttles by repurposing the existing elevated tracks as well as running the shuttles on city streets. Phase 1 will see the shuttles running through what the city is calling its Bay Street Innovation Corridor up to its sports complex, which is home to the NFL Jaguars and other teams. The Olan People Mover is powered by a 150 kilowatt motor. Each EV can seat 10 with 5 additional standing passengers with shuttles arriving every 5 to 7 minutes. It has a maximum speed of 37 miles per hour, which should be enough for many parts of the U.S. since speed limits in most U.S. urban cores, campuses, and neighborhoods are limited to 35 miles per hour or less. The Olan has a 90 kilowatt hour battery with an estimated range of 100 miles, which allows it to run continuously for about seven hours before needing to charge. The EV shuttles include a wheelchair bay and are ADA compliant. It will be a level 4 autonomous vehicle, meaning it will be capable of operating without human intervention. The Olan has some visual flair thanks to being penned by world-famous Italian automotive designer Pina Farina. Jacksonville Mayor Donna Deegan praised Olan's decision to build its plant in the city's northeast quadrant. The first autonomous electric shuttle was ever made in Florida. All of it happening right here in a river city by the city. Gallo, this guy. The city is kicking in a $7.5 million grant for the plant that will be built on 41 acres. Olan will be setting up a manufacturing facility on the north side of the city of Jacksonville, near the Jacksonville Zoo. Olan is owned by Benteler International, which is a German family-owned automotive steel and engineering supplier that was originally founded in 1876. If you've enjoyed this episode of EV Rider, please go ahead and give this video a like so I can continue to bring you more adventures in EV motoring and more stories about EV autonomous shuttles. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.